I'm gonna name this one Marcy. Yeah, this one's name is Marcy. I don't know where that name came from, but that's what this is. He looked like a Marcy. Actually, he looks like a Fred, but I can't go naming everything Fred, because that's, or George. Those are my two go-to names for naming random things. Hey guys, this is Cody, the Improper Engineer, and today I'm talking about pangolins. Did I say that right? Pangolin? Pangolin? These guys that everybody seems to be printing now. So pangolins are an endangered species, and people like to kill them for their scales, which are made out of keratin, same stuff as our fingernails, as well as their skins and meats. They're not usually big creatures, but they can go anywhere from three and a half to 78 pounds. Now, a 78 pound one of these guys, that's pretty big. But it seems like most of them are on the smaller side. The nickname for these guys are the scaly anteaters, and they are officially one of the most endangered groups of mammals in the entire world. And that's pretty scary to think about. So let's go over some facts about these little guys. Aside from, it prints very well. Minus his leg. I broke his leg off. Well, I didn't break it. The legs don't print very tight. These right here should be tighter. I, I ended up breaking two of them on purpose and then gluing them back a little bit tighter because it was quicker to do that than to reprint it. So while this one's drying, oh, I already messed it up. While this one's drying, I've already taken it off, but it printed so well. The legs are separate and this prints is one piece. And uh, it's just such a cool design. Like I am, I'm blown away by the design it's so cool so cool I kind of wish like I, I want to add robotics to them I want to add some motors motors to them and just carry them around like how cool would it be to walk into a place and have them just chilling just chilling on your shoulder like that like what's up George what's up so let's go over some facts about a pangolin let's go some of these guys can walk in their hind legs now that would be pretty funny to see a scaly thing walking up to you on its hind legs It'd almost be like the ant eater that says, come at me, bro, because it's all I can picture. Number two, their tongue is as long as their body. That's crazy, especially on the big ones. Can you imagine that? Number three, there's a total of eight species of these. Uh, four of them are in Africa and four of them are in Asia. Number four, baby pangolins are helpless. They can't get around. So in order to actually get around, they cling onto their mother's tail and hang on for the ride. Kind of like what an ex-girlfriend does. Am I allowed to say that on here? <laughs> Oops. Number five. Five? Yeah, number five. It's too early in this to be losing count. When these guys are threatened, they just curl up into a ball. And then you play kickball with them. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I do not condone animal violence in any way. But when they curl up, all of their scales overlap each other. So essentially they, they form into a complete ball, even here on top and bottom. Wonder if they invented the fetal position. Number six, these guys can eat over 70 million ants a year. 70 million, that's like, that's almost as many chicken wings as I eat in a year. Which doesn't explain why I look this way. Fat kid status, really I'm a fat kid trapped inside a skinny kid's body. Don't let it fool you. Number seven, these guys don't have teeth. You know how they chew their food? Technically they don't. They chew with gravel that's inside their stomach as well as keratinous, is that the word? Keratinous, is that how it's pronounced? Spines that's inside their stomachs. Number eight, they close their ears and their nostrils to keep bugs out. Unlike us, that when we sleep, we consume bugs. Number nine, they have a special gland that they use to mark their territory, and they pretty much urinate to say that this is mine, kind of like a dog does. Number 10, 20% of these guys' weight is in their scales. So for some of us, it's the same weight as our ego. Ha <laughs> ha, but um, tss. And that's all the facts that I have for you guys. Let's try to get awareness brought up for these guys. Cause look at how freaking cute my printed version is, the fake version. Look at how cute he is. I'm probably going to print a couple more of these actually. <laughs> I want to print one in translucent blue. That would be awesome. Really, I'd like to do one in wood, but I don't have any wood filament, so that's not going to happen yet. All right, guys, save the pangolins. Hashtag it. Post it. Spread the word on these guys. What should I name this guy? 
What should I name him? I'm gonna name him Tank. No, I can't because that's the truck's name. I'm gonna name this one Marcy. Yeah, this one's name is Marcy. I don't know where that name came from, but that's what this is. He looked like a Marcy. Actually, he looks like a Fred, but I can't go naming everything Fred because that's... or George. Those are my two go-to names for naming random things. Alright guys, I'm out of here until next time. See ya.